Straight hair. Straight hair is not the original human hair type. Genetic evidence links it to a mutation in the EDAR gene, common in East Asian populations and in certain Northern European groups, which altered the shape of the hair follicle, producing round, straight strands. This change offered a clear survival benefit. Straight hair lies flatter against the scalp, creating a more compact barrier that helps retain heat. In cold climates, this structure helped reduce heat loss from the head, acting almost like insulation. It's not sleek for fashion, it's sleek for thermoregulation. The cylindrical structure of straight hair also allows natural scalp oils, or sebum, to flow freely from the roots down the shaft. Unlike curly or coily hair, which slows or blocks this movement, straight hair becomes evenly coated, giving it a shiny, smooth appearance. But that shine isn't just cosmetic, it's a sign of a protective lipid layer that guards against dehydration, environmental pollutants, and UV damage. In effect, straight hair is self-conditioning, using its shape to distribute built-in protection efficiently. In East Asian populations, straight hair prevalence exceeds 90%. This trait emerged roughly 30,000 years ago through a mutation that not only affected hair structure, but also altered features like tooth shape, sweat gland density, and facial bone development. People with this variant tend to grow thicker hair strands and have more active sebaceous and sweat glands, traits that enhance thermoregulation and skin protection in cold, dry, wind-exposed environments. Coily hair. Coily hair evolved as a highly specialized response to life under intense sun and heat. Its tightly coiled, spring-like structure creates natural lift off the scalp, forming an insulating air buffer that helps cool the head while reducing direct UV exposure. Unlike flat hair, which absorbs and traps heat, coily hair's vertical geometry allows airflow between the strands and deflects sunlight away from the skin. This design helped early humans regulate body temperature in open, arid environments while protecting the scalp from solar radiation, without the need for pigment or external covering. At the same time, coily hair helps conserve moisture in unforgiving climates. Its twists and zigzags reduce direct exposure of the scalp to air and wind, slowing evaporation. The spiral pattern also limits how far sebum can travel down the shaft. While this makes the strands more vulnerable to dryness, it concentrates natural oils at the scalp, forming a local barrier that helps retain hydration where it matters most. Genetically, coily hair arises from multiple dominant variants affecting follicle shape and keratin structure, particularly KRT71 and members of the KAP gene family, which help form the inner root sheath. The resulting strands are highly elliptical in cross-section and packed with disulfide bonds, making them both elastic and mechanically resilient. This high-tension spring-like architecture gives coily hair the ability to bend and recoil without breaking, an advantage not just for physical durability, but for adapting to friction, wind, and movement in physically demanding environments. Wavy hair. Wavy hair sits at a structural midpoint between straight and curly hair, and that hybrid shape may not be accidental. Some anthropologists suggest it emerged as humans migrated into varied temperate climates, environments where neither intense heat nor extreme cold dominated. The gentle S-shaped waves helped balance thermal insulation with moderate airflow, offering adaptability rather than specialization. In this sense, wavy hair may represent an evolutionary compromise, flexible enough to provide mild protection against both heat and cold, without committing to the extremes of either. Structurally, wavy hair arises from an asymmetrical hair follicle that produces strands with a slightly oval cross-section. This geometry gives the hair a natural undulation as it grows, creating bends that catch more light and surface friction than straight hair. As a result, wavy hair holds styles and volume more easily than straight strands, but without the dense entanglement or oil trapping of tighter curls. It's also mechanically less fragile than curly or coily hair, since the waves distribute tension more evenly along the strand instead of concentrating it at sharp turns. The interaction between wavy hair and scalp oils is also unique. Sebum travels more slowly than in straight hair, but still makes it farther down the shaft than in curly or coily textures. This creates a pattern of partial coating, leaving the roots protected while the mid-lengths and ends remain more exposed. That uneven distribution has an unintended consequence. Wavy hair tends to absorb environmental moisture more variably, which can result in subtle shifts in texture based on humidity. Unlike the clearly dominant genes behind coily or straight hair, the genetics of wavy hair involve polygenic inheritance, multiple genes interacting to produce the final texture. Variants in the TCHH and FRAS1 genes, among others, have been linked to wave formation, but expression varies widely even within families. 
This genetic ambiguity suggests that wavy hair is less the result of a single adaptation and more of a byproduct of genetic recombination during human dispersal. Curly hair. Curly hair develops from a curved follicle and uneven keratin distribution, which causes the strand to bend into spirals. This creates natural elasticity that lets the hair stretch and recoil without breaking easily. The hair's growth angle, arcing outward from the scalp, also helps regulate airflow and skin temperature in humid climates by creating space between hair and skin, improving thermal management in tropical environments. Beyond structure, curly hair provides physical and sensory advantages. Its spiral shape acts as a natural buffer against touch, wind, and environmental interference, giving it a subtle sensory function that may have helped early humans detect external stimuli before direct contact. The curls also compress and bounce back during movement, protecting the scalp from friction, abrasions, and impacts when brushing against vegetation or other surfaces. This shock-absorbing quality creates a flexible perimeter that distinguishes curly hair from denser, heat-blocking, coily types. Curly hair is driven by a combination of gene variants, most notably TCHH, WNT10A, and FGGR2, which control follicle shape and keratin structure. These genetic traits are especially common in populations from tropical regions where curl patterns likely evolved in response to environmental demands. The wide variation in curl tightness reflects how different spiral forms were subtly optimized through evolution to balance hydration control, mechanical resilience, and adaptive surface coverage. Structural hair traits, thick hair. Now shifting from hair types to structural traits, we will explain what happens at the strand level. Regardless of whether your hair is straight, coily, wavy, or curly, it can be composed of either thick or fine strands. Each comes with its own set of built-in advantages. Thick hair strands have a larger diameter and often contain more keratin layers, making them physically stronger and more resistant to breakage, friction, and environmental wear. This structure acts like natural armor, providing better protection against wind, UV radiation, and physical abrasion. The density and strength of thick hair also offer insulation for the scalp, which is particularly beneficial in cold or high friction environments. Genetically, thick hair is linked to variations in the EDAR gene, which not only affects hair diameter but also influences sweat gland density and skin traits. Thicker strands also retain moisture more effectively and slow down sweat evaporation, making them advantageous in cooler or drier settings where hydration and heat retention were critical for survival. Fine hair. Fine hair strands have a smaller diameter and fewer layers of keratin, making them lighter and more flexible than thick strands. While this reduces mechanical strength, it also allows heat to escape more efficiently from the scalp, supporting thermoregulation in warm or temperate environments. The reduced mass means fine hair dries quickly, accumulates less weight when wet, and offers minimal thermal insulation, useful in climates where cooling is more important than heat retention. While it may require more protection from breakage, fine hair functions as a highly responsive, low-density covering optimized for cooling and environmental feedback due to the increased tactile sensitivity of the scalp. Don't just watch the world, subscribe and understand it.